Hi guys, and I am back with a review on this Hornby Loco. Hoping to do it justice. I know some people are not a fan of Hornby at the moment, but I'm hoping to do this justice. I think I will. So as you can see, it's a Hornby Loco. Um, Alan the R. Um, and it is the Thompson Class L1. There we go. It's R2912. And it's DCC ready. And as you'll see, it's going to be the old style packaging. They take it off the sleeve. Whipped on the back. Uh, it gives you a little bit of history if you want to stop and read. You're more than welcome. That's history. It gives you a nice uh, picture of the actual loco that you get with the thing. Um, yeah, it's quite nice. I know this doesn't show you much, but we'll get it out. So all it is, and you've got a card insert, obviously, with details on. So, you get a... Um, well... A DC jacket. I don't use these. Uh, just collect them really. Just collect dust. Um, now, what else you get? You get a uh, an instruction manual. Like you do most home, well, most levers these, these days. And how to run, how to lubricate. About the chassis, about the number, no, um, motor, sorry. Uh, Tells you where to do all the stuff you need to do. Um, yeah, it's a pretty nice uh, one. I had to apply the brakes. Uh, obviously, I had a screw bit, but going by this one, it didn't. But yeah. So we'll take out that, um, we'll take out that one, take the front off, and as you can see it's a polystyrene split package, a uh, box sorry, so just like that, and then there, lift the logo out, and that's it. Which I don't mind the split packaging. So there's the loco. Move it out. Put tissue over there. Move it into the shot. At first glance, it is a really nice loco. Um, this is obviously before Hornby had there. Money issues. Um, so yeah. So let's look at it in more detail, shall we? Um, let me start on the front, shall we? We have spring buffers. So you can see that um, it is a uh, two, six, four wheel arrangement. I'll do some more on that in a minute. So it's got a nameplate there, which is probably the builder's nameplate actually, which says Darlington. There's not that many rivets. Um, nice linkage, anyway. Nice. 
Good. Um, yeah, Hornby have gone to a lot of trouble with this. The bogeys, uh, you can tell about the pickups on the bogey box for that. Um, which is, well, pretty nice. Um, and then couplings, or is it? I think it is anyway. Um, safety valves and whistles are plastic, unfortunately. But they're nice, they stand out, they're nice. Um, loads of pipe work and there. I think this is something to do with the boiler here. Um, not sure if the coal load can come out. Uh, the back. Lots of lots of fine leaded detail. Uh, lamps, I think they are. Uh, steps. Handrails. Um, glazing in the cab as well. Um, a few rivets on the cab side. Gold piping again and a load of steps. Steps are in a nice uh, red lining. It's fairly, the whole look has got a red lining and then it's black, then it's white lining and then it's gr apple green. It's the one. Um, as you probably saw, just the vents do move. Uh, see if we can... No, let's see if I can help you. Don't know if you can see that, but it might just show up on camera. Um, but it's all painted inside, the whole cap is painted inside. Let's see if I can get a shot for you. There we go, we can see a bit there. Sorry about that. Yeah, so the whole cab is um, painted inside. I will try and get a picture of it for you and put it up because I don't think it's justice there. Um, so yeah, overall it's a nice loco. Fair bit of weight to it, glazing, uh, vents moving, um, swung buffers and cab detail. It is a super detailed loco. The Alinea Thompson Class Alla One. The London and North Eastern Railway, the Allen ER, Thompson Class L1, was a class of 264T steam locomotives designed by Edward Thompson. The prototype number was 9000 and was built in 1945. The remaining 99 were built on the British Railways between the period of 1948 and 1950. The builders, Doncaster Works 1, Darlington Works 29, North British Locomotive Company 35, Robert Stevenson Hornfawn 35, build dates were between 1945 to 1950, there was 100 in total, built. The wheel configuration is a 2 Six four T. The T stands for tank engine. The cylinders two outside. The valve gear Walshisha. So I said that wrong. They operated under the London and North East Railway and the British Railway. The class is a L one. The power classification is a BR. Uh, 4 MT and the route available was 7 they were withdrawn in 1960 to 1962 and they were all scrapped some information on the loco I just reviewed the BR number is 67702 the first grouping number is Alinear 901 Designer was Thompson, 
It was built on the 22nd of the 1st, 1948 at Darlington Works. 1948 shed code is 30A Stafford. And the same for the last shed code, it was withdrawn on the 31st of the 10th, 1960. It was disposed at Darlington Works. It was cut up on the 31st of the 11th, 1960. And it was the first one of its class to be redrawn. So yeah, let's, let's test its slow speed capability, shall we? Not bad, but that's not bad. So yeah, I've got it hooked up to do some Gradley teak coaches. I know, uh, Thompson and Gradley are uh, a bad choice, but I've only got one Thompson coach and it's playing up. Um, so yeah, that's uh, on the teaks. And then on the other line, I thought I'd take a leaf out of someone else's book for once. Um, so nobody else takes a leaf out of mine, which I don't mind. Um, we have a N2, a Great Northern, uh, with a random good strain, some Southern, some Great Western. I don't care, it's my railway, so yeah. Uh, and the uh, Oxford Rail. There, so we run around, do some shots, whatever you want to call it, and um, hope you like the video. And uh, please remember to like and subscribe and share the video if uh, please, because it helps me. Um, anyway, thank you for watching and good bless.